Well, Michael Tights TV, uh, Full House. Uh, we've got Andy, Ryan, and Daniel. It's been a while, mate, but nice to have you back on. Um, where do we start? I mean, come to you, Daniel, first. Uh, bad day at office, we weren't at races. Uh, Exeter did a job on us, what we'd normally do. Just send down and move on. Runs, runs come to an end. Just glad to hope, uh, you know, once again, it's Wednesday. But again, from me, my point of view, I can't say that, you know, oh, we're unlucky here, we'll do it. End of day, exited it, I thought we actually played our tactics kind of thing and exploited his win backs, Daniel. Yeah, I think you've just hit nail on head, to be honest, Neil. They, they played well, they deserved the win. Um, yeah, we weren't at the race. We weren't at races at all. I think we were trying to play a bit differently from what we uh, what we normally play. We tried playing on the front foot, trying to hit them early. Uh, when they hit, uh, when uh, they scored, and I mean, I know you can there was a little bit of criticism you could give to the wing backs, um, but it was a lovely turn by their uh, is it Stansfield um, their striker. Mm. He did a lovely turn and put ball straight back in a lovely goal. And I think after that, it felt like we were beaten after that. And despite as equaliser, it felt like there was just something a bit amiss. Um, so, yeah, I mean, bad, yeah, like your bad day at the office is, was a way to probably best describe it. I think we've... Well, you know, you can't win them all. Um, but I think we, we walked into it, and, I, and I'm just trying to sum it up before I came on, and it felt like we walked in it with a level of arrogance about us, um, thinking, oh, well, you know what, we'll hit them, we'll hit them in the first 20 minutes, game will be over. Mm. And unfortunately, when it didn't work out like that, we looked a little bit lost, and I think Exeter picked up on that and, and managed to us... Uh, and, and managed to and managed to get on the front foot and score a couple and score those goals. Um, so yeah, pity, but I suppose we've just got to move on. Move on. I mean, just going on to you then, Ryan. I mean, just like I said, via sent to be his game plan didn't seem to be via first twenty minutes a bit of arrogance and it looked yeah. like we'd been playing weekend default. Uh, you know, not had a weekend off. It just didn't seem right for whatever reason. Uh, Second best to knock ons and balls and stuff, Ryan. Yeah, yeah. Um, it worked great, would it? You know, you, you can't be brilliant every single game. Um, you know, and I, I just think whether it were, you, you know, it could be eight, Daddy could be eight saying it were, were it arrogance or did the occasion get to him, knowing that, you know, as we discussed in previous one about opportunity knocks, it was a chance to be get up there with that top two. And I don't know if maybe occasion got to him or who knows. But I think, as as pleased I've been with, I think the, the, the disappointing thing was, I think all three goals could have been avoided. And I suppose you could argue that that could, you, you know, you could say that about every goal, couldn't you, that you concede. But I think in being able to cut in, the Stansfield being able to cut in from touchline there, he's absolutely done, Williams. And then mm. when he stepped in and hit it, and instead just put his arm out. Now, from that angle, he's hit it really well, mine. So, you know, he's hit it, he's hit it really yeah. true, hasn't he? But there's only there's only a small target you can get to get that in from that angle. I think if he dives to his left, he covers most. He's covering most of goal off, isn't he? Mm. Cause just just because the angle where he's shooting from. So thought we could have probably done better there. And then Williams again getting done on um, getting done on for the second goal and pulling him back, getting done on outside and being able to pull it back. Kitchen sort of just threw a, a lazy leg out, didn't he, behind him to try and stop it going to attack, and he got it. And then instead we're going the other way. So and then lastly, it with the shot straight. He should have. I mean, it's come straight at him, hasn't it? I mean, it come at a bit of pace, but it should be. It's a straightforward than that for a keeper to pick it up, and he and he spilt it, and obviously made, then Thomas has made that sort of rash challenge, and um, just a bit 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 bit, bit error strewn. But like you say, it's not our night. Got beat by a better team, and we just got to dust to send down, not let it affect us too much, and crack on with crack on on Saturday. Going on to you then, uh, Andy. I mean, how I look at it is that even with Rafter changes, I mean, he brought four subs on all in one go. Mm-hmm. And I think, if, correct me if I'm wrong on this, when we've gone one note down this season, we haven't come back and won a game. So when it comes to one apiece, I thought, here's a chance we could possibly break that dope. Yeah. Right. Not coming back. So, 
Yeah. I've, I think this season, since we've gone like one note down, you know, if we come back, but we're loaded substitutions. But for me, uh, Andy, is that even when substitutions were made, it still didn't look the like the boundless side that we kind of knew, Andy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I mean, when he put all them subs on anyway, it, it was like more or less a 4 2 4 anyway, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> It, it was it was just a scruffy game, wasn't it? Um, and I said a um, couple of videos um, previous to this one, at all games in these runnings, Exeter game, uh, Exeter game was the one that was I was a little bit worried about because I don't I don't know the we are sounding a bit disrespectful that the ball ways were going to make it a little bit. Uh, tough for us and they're on a decent run as well especially at home um, so it always was going to be a tough hard game yesterday and it, game panned out apart from school line um, I, I expected it really um, it was going to be a pretty game uh, I don't think it ever was going to be uh, like that um, and yeah it, I think throwing four subs on uh, probably you know, last throw at dice to try and get some out of game. But, uh, yeah, uh, we, we deserve what we got uh, last night, in my opinion. Um, but it's not all doom and gloom. You know, we've come off uh, we've come off of this unbeaten run. You can't win them all. Um, and it's still all to play for. You know, it's uh, there's still, you know, quite a few games left here. And uh, I think there'll be more twists and turns before... Uh, seasons of us, so yeah, it's not all doom and gloom. We just, uh, as we said before, we've just got to uh, put that one to bed and uh, look forward to Markham game on Saturday. Um, just one of them games, really. Um, like I said, Exeter deserved it. I thought. Good to you, Daniel. I mean, there's games to play for and points to play for and stuff like that. Do you think Morecambe is an ideal opportunity to like show his intent again and get back to winning ways and all being well start another a run off again? I mean, on paper, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, this is again no disrespect to Morecambe. They struggled a bit this season. You know, do I look at a side and say we can pick them off and we can try and get we, we can pick them off and are they? easier to play than Exeter, then on paper, yeah. Um, I'd like to think that yesterday were a bit of a culture shock to us. You know, we've gone on runs, we've beaten Derby, beaten Sheffield Wednesday, annihilate. Well, we, we played really well against Plymouth. There's no... I know they had that chance earlier on, but we 3 nils are pretty... Good scoreline, comprehensive scoreline, in it. So, you know, it's I, I, I have a belief that Duff's gonna we're gonna get him back into get got him into dressing room after the game, and I and and said, listen, you know, you've walked into the and you thought you were gonna annihilate every team, and that's not gonna happen. You know, you've been overconfident and you've paid for it. So, um, I'm expecting a bit more of a. I'm expecting a more dominant performance because, of course, you're going to want to do that. You're at home, but a bit more of a careful, you know, a bit more cautious performance than what we saw against Exeter. And if we do that, I have no reason to believe that we won't win and we won't get back onto winning ways. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 cool. Uh, so yeah, Daniel. I mean, Markham. Uh, could it be possibly a time where it, it kickstarts us and? get back to winning ways because there's still points to play for um, there's still games to play there's other, there's other teams around us and all got to still pick their points up we all know about uh, certain neighbours next door they could possibly go top if they win their game so again there's still a lot of ifs books from members isn't there yeah, of course. Yeah, of course there is. Um, it, the, the, the reality is is that what we need to remind ourselves is that yeah, it's you know when you're winning in when you're winning in February when you're winning in January February time. There's not there's 
it's like there's teams that are still like the Reds are a little bit in the clouds. They're probably, you know, the, the real fight for positions hasn't really, you know, aren't really sunk into people's heads. So, you know, uh, Markham are on a poor run of uh, been on poor run form. They've not been performing great this season. But, you know, these are the times of the season where you get points and it changes your season. We've seen it when we're in relegation scraps. We've seen it when we've been in a promotion promotion battle. I remember when Stendhal, um, uh, Sunderland losing, I think it was Bristol Rovers. Somebody might correct me. Or Fleetwood might have been one, either one of the two. And that was a weird result. And that was the, the result that promoted us. So... Whilst Markham on paper looks a very easy opposition, I would I would err to side of caution that they will be coming in and trying and the players will know the consequences of them losing. So yeah, on paper we can get back to winning ways, but we're gonna need to be on our air game and this is this this reality of being of being in this race for promotion. We need to be on it 110 percent of the time. No overconfidence. We need to be um, on our A game to beat anybody, whether the bottom or top of the league. And you've just pointed it out, Neil. Wednesday learnt that the hard way, uh, losing to Forest Green. Uh, no disrespect again to Forest Green. I would imagine I didn't watch the game, uh, but I would imagine to win that and win against a side capable as them you're going to need to get you, you need to play well um so yeah hopefully it's a start of a win but again we need to try it we need to we need to have a lot more improved performance from last week uh, from yesterday sorry yeah i mean yeah i mean just following on from that ryan to be fair i mean you know, Markham could have a chill up a bit, like thinking, hey, do you know what? Look at extra what they, what they did against him form. They could also look like a leaf out what Dan, uh, Daniel Severe a bit earlier, just about Forest Green, form at league. But it, for them, it's a giant killing. It's their fate, they're, they're facing scrapping for their own, for their yeah. own cause. So they're going to come to work well, probably shut up shop. I, I could see this game going back to something similar to such as like a Wickham or a Cheltenham at uh, all well. You know, we're going to make it awkward for us. It's on counter, exploit, we ever can, shut up shop. Again, you look at Markham on paper, should be a winnable game or respect to Markham. But I don't know what uh, you think about this, but I'd probably feel a bit more comfortable. I won't say confident, but a bit more comfortable knowing that we could be playing a, a side such as like a, a Charlton or a, a Plymouth or a Portsmouth at home rather than a Markham, knowing that we'd be able to play football and, you know, Markham's going to come with different ideas, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, it's fair. Well, I've said before, haven't I, Neil, that I think that we play as best football against teams that play good football. Hmm. It's like it's like, it's like we're boxing in, it's styles make fights. And I think hmm. that, you know, I, th I think just as a side, we just need to, I probably work on that really, is how do we get round as these teams that come to spoil? Um, I think, we, again, like you've said, no disrespect to Markham, we should have too much firepower, firepower at home. I know Exeter beat us, but they were at home and they would and, and they've been really good at home. Again, Forest Green beat Chef Wednesday, but they were at home. Mm. You know, they're going to be coming. I can't imagine they're going to bring a massive away following. So that away end is going to be pretty empty. So they're not, it's not going to be as it's not going to be like Wednesday away with the five and a half thousand roaring them on. Yeah, true. Of course, be pretty, you know, we're going to have plenty there. I just hope that there's no hangover from, from Exeter result. You know, that sort of bit take, take wind out and a sail a little bit because atmosphere at Oakwell's been as good as I can remember it these last few games. It's been it's been amazing. Mm. I just hope we, we can still just get behind lads. People are not got mm. a bit of an hangover. Maybe not, and also because it's Markham and it's not as big as a game. Can you get that can you get that level of excitement back up? Mm, true. So we'll have, we'll have to see. But I, I, he's gonna gain the lug holes, hasn't he? Duff, and tell it like he said, they can't expect to turn up and win any game. You've got to go out and win it. And I think we need to get back to winning ways and playing how we play because we play better when we get ball on floor. That long ball, amount of times with long ball last night, it was just it, it frustrates me watching it. Hmm. We got relegated lurking that last season. We, yeah. You know what I mean? We got relegated lurking that way and I don't know why. We, we resort to Do you think, Ryan, it was a desperation as in 
well, we're trying everything here and it will like maybe just get up front yeah. and that. Do you think that or maybe I'll get where you're coming from with that though? Yeah, we've got two fantastic ball playing midfielders in Middle Park with, with mm. Kane and Connell. Two two lads that can split on defence, they're great with the feet, they can create space, they can get ball in tight areas and move it about, and we were just bypassing them. It, it, it's, yeah. it, you know what I mean? It's like being a right under box and hitting with your left all the time, isn't it? It's crackers. Mm. Mm. Fair point. Yeah, fair point. I mean, Andy coming on to you, mate. I mean, Markham. A bit like what Ryan said here. We don't want to hang over. We want to like just sit down. We don't want to be like, you know, yeah, we've lost one, but we'll come on, let's crack yeah. on. It's going to be interesting to see like now, nah, not just our players, right, but us as fans as well. Like Ryan, uh, Ryan said here, Markham are not going to fetch that many, but what we do fetch for will be game behind the side. But again, atmosphere has been proper summit. You could f- feel it and vibe, can't you, in, in stands. I think yeah. we all can agree with that. And you'd like to think that we can not that bit on a bit more, but again, it's going to be everybody to be in it together, isn't it? Us as fans, but also players as well to Jeeva sends up and at the end of the day, oh, it's Markham and not expect to rock up and think, oh, we're going to do a number on it because sometimes can, that's where you can get caught with your pants down and end up with either, a, 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 I think I think it was you watched it, a bit of tonking or, uh, you know, come away with a draw, think, walking away and thinking, do you know what, we're at home, we want to come away with a point or a loss. So it's going to be a different challenge, yeah. Andy, isn't it, that? It is, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, as Ryan said as well, I just hope um, atmosphere is still there on Saturday. Um, it's not the most glamorous of fixtures. Um, I, I think there's no getting away from that. But uh, we've got to look where we are and you know what possibilities are. And uh, I'm, that's why I'm hoping that our fans do uh, turn up. Uh, on Saturday. Um, I think players all react um, from yesterday on Saturday as well. Um, I think if they're honest, I think even players will admit that, you know, they, they didn't show up yesterday. It was were, it were pretty poor. It was it were flat, wasn't it? And uh, I think we'll see a, a reaction with that. I honestly do. Um, and the same with Duff as well. Um, I ain't heard his interviews after the game, but... Uh, you know, he can't be happy with that performance. Um, and again, he'll be looking uh, for players to um, make it a bit better on Saturday against Morecambe. Uh, but yes, yeah, it's, it's again, it's not going to be easy against them. They're fighting uh, for a different cause, like we've said as well. Um, they're not going to roll over. They'll probably put five, probably sometimes six sit back and... Uh, Hope that they get a sneaky goal. I would think. Um, so it, again, it's not going to be. I don't think it's going to be a pretty game. Um, like you said, I think they'll make it awkward and difficult for us. Um, but yeah, we, we just need to. Well, I'm hoping that we do show up in this thousands again on uh, on Saturday and get behind them because, like I said, it's not all we're playing. It's our way playing, and that's that's the main thing. Um, and I hope fans realise that. And um, you know, I'm not saying it's going to be a sellout, um, because it's not. Um, but yeah, um, I, you know, I hope them fans show uh, show up again on Saturday. Honestly, do. I mean, it's not be all and end all. I mean, we've had a no. great run. You know, if you look how many points and how many wins I've taken that all day long compared to last season. Some of the football yeah. what we've been uh, playing. The amount of goals have been scoring, different goal scorers and all the world been chipping in. So, you know, Duff's got manager at Mumford Ward for you know several times. Yeah. Uh, goal at Mumford Ward's coming out of the videos. So again, before people like start saying, "Oh yeah," but you you're talking about as if we don't, we're not we're calling it how it is. And at the end of the day, yeah. we want at races. We you know we're not we're not being overcritical. We're just highlighting things. What I think even Gaffer's turned around and said when been, been interviewed by social media and. Uh, local press is it's called that. I said we were second best to everything, and yeah. I'd rather a gaffer come out and say that rather than try and say, Well, we're a bit jaded here, or ref. And the day's called it, it is said it, and I, I uh, openly and honestly. And that for me, as a fan, us as fans, would want. So, I mean, going back to you, Daniel, I mean, more can coming up. Uh, any changes? Uh, would you make would you make any changes? Um, I mean, 
I wouldn't know what I wouldn't like to put myself down saying this change uh, change needed. The only reason why is because I'm st still need to have a look at who's on yellow cards and who isn't. That's going to yeah. be the big. Uh, oh, maybe what maybe waters put waters up front for Norwood. Um, that's not because he played badly. By the way, I don't. I, he, he didn't. I don't think he was the worst one in the worst one in the pitch by a million miles. But um, maybe just do that. But it, I mean, if it's a bad day at the office, I mean, if it were a bad day at the office, no second best. They've got till from yesterday till now to try and work on it. So go on, changed. You know, this is the side that beat Sheffield Wednesday. This is the side that beat. You know, Derby. I'm so glad you made that point because I was going to say about it ending it. Yeah, yeah. It's not that. It's let's not throw the bait. I know that. When I think the last, I think it won the last time so we're on actually when we lost Derby in the FA Cup, then we lost mm -hmm. Charlton. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is not the same situation. We know no. what we're capable of. We know what. So, I mean, as much as we get, I completely agree, Neil. We need to be critical. We need to say how it is and all this, but. It's not a time to throw a baby out with the bath water, you know. We need to put a bit of perspective onto things, and and so we, so yeah, unchanged for me. Maybe Norwood, take Norwood off, hmm. put him on a more, leaving for a more challenging game. I would say what as I still thinks can get, can do a job. Showed that hmm. when he came on against Sheffield Wednesday, um, just um, you know. Tell him to keep his elbows down. I suppose before he goes on. <laughs> <laughs> when you time. jump up, just jump up straight. Don't put your yeah, elbows just, up. So. Yeah, but I think it'll cure a lot of things with long ball because long ball. Because yeah. if you look at how we've done long ball, you're always aiming towards Norwood or you're always aiming towards Wat uh, Waters because he heads ball down and hopefully you've got Connell or you've got Connell Kane and Devante trying to yeah, jump onto the yeah. blooming thing. Obviously that didn't work yesterday because I think they were playing with a defensive mid like an anchor man and it just didn't manage to come off for us. Um, no. But yeah, in answer to your question, Neil unchanged for me. Uh, so maybe maybe fresh and put Waters on for Norwood maybe. But That's all. Ryan? Come yeah. to you, mate. I mean, yeah, don't think so. No, I think I think it, he's. This is the strongest eleven that started last night for me. That's another point I want to make as well. So you both more or less covered it because it won't. It won a couple of games ago. We're saying this is his strongest eleven. This it's the strongest eleven. And it, listen, you can't win every game. You know, Man City and everybody. They all get. They all lose games. Mm. You know, what I mean? it's how it's how it's how we react in it that, that shows the true character of a team. It's how we re how we react and. It's not that bad of a performance, and we're not in that dire of a position that we need to start making desperate changes. I think this is a good, it's a good eleven, it's a good starting eleven, it's the strongest eleven. And I agree with what you said a bit earlier, Neil. This is not about us coming out and being negative because we've been brilliant. We really have these these last couple of months, these last few months, played some of the best football, the best atmosphere. It's been brilliant. It's just we had a bit of an off day yesterday, and it's back to about I'm you know I'm ready for it now. Saturday, let's get back to it. Let's get behind lads and yeah. Remain unchanged. Keep that strong eleven. Let's go and get three points against Markham for me. Bring it on, right? Fighting talk here, Andy. So you've got a lot to match mm. up to here, mate. You'll probably change the effort side knowing you now. Right, <laughs> come on, Andy. What, would you make any changes, mate? I uh, put Collins up front. Um, ah, now, yeah. <laughs> now there's there's no need to panic, is there? Uh, no need to panic. Uh, keep things same. Um, yeah, just keep it same. Um, yeah, it, it was just like you just said a bad day in office yesterday. Um, you know, we're not perfect, and like Ryan's just said, even best clubs in the world as you know can't win them all. Um, so no, there's no need to change it for me. Just keep it as it is. Keep it as it is. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to, just coming back. I mean, D Daniel Ryan, you, you and you've all made valid points. I mean. All sale changes, no. Um, it, this is what same side about Bet Chef Wednesday, and we're all you know praising performances via. We're all like saying, no, no, keep it as it is. When people like saying, bring Collins in instead of this dead. And again, at the end of the day, we have a bad game, all, all side, all team, but have a bad. Also, does he make him bad players? No, does he make him a duffer bad manager? No, it just wants to be. 
it just one of them things. And you know, we're not the invincibles, you know, it happened under Arsenal at the come once in a flood. You know, you look at uh, your Premier League sides, and I get where you're coming from, unless you're playing in a Mickey Mouse league and you're guaranteed up there. But you look at League One stroke championship, it's probably one of the most entertaining and you know, eventful leagues. What's happening? You look at Premier League, and it's like who's fighting for top into Europe, who's fighting to relegation, and you've got a middle bit in championship and in League One at the minute. It, I think it's the most exciting leagues going. Um, obviously, we want to be up in championship, but you know. So, uh, so do probably I say a good half a dozen, if not more, eight others in League One at the minute, um, all fighting for their own cause and somewhat been in there longer than us, you know, and they're still chomping a bit to get up. So, for me, I won't make any changes. I get where you're coming from, uh, Daniel, about uh, Norwood, just with booking element kind of things. And you look at games coming up, you know, we're going to be getting Burton Albion, you know, the Zips coming up at end, uh, end of April. So, there's Yes, again, you look in April, there's a fair amount of games week and midweek with bank holidays, so it's managing your players, right? So, yeah, good good valid points, uh, each and every one of you. This is going to be a good one now, then. School prediction. So, I'm going to go to Ryan on this one first. Mix it up a bit. Uh, school out. prediction, uh, Ryan. 4 0. 4 0. Yeah. That was straight in, right? Decisive that. 4 0, <laughs> clean sheet. Right. Uh, Daniel, score prediction, mate. 3 0. 3 0, 4 0. And he's going to go 5 0 and said probably uh, Ishted Patrick at this rate now. Right. Go on, Andy. <laughs> what are you going for, mate? What's um, score prediction? I'll go for. I'll go for 4 1. 4 1. Oh, mm. so they're going to square. I'm going to go 3 1. Uh, I know I said it in previous stream for you one, but I meant to Barnsley, not to Mark, uh, not to Buddy Exeter. So I got score prediction right, just Buddy wrong side, wasn't it? So it's good to be for a better. You know. so. Yeah, cheers, <laughs> cheers, Ryan. I'm glad nobody else mentioned it apart from me. Cheers. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, I'm hoping that there's going to be a reaction from uh, players. All these fans can, can like drive them on. We can sit off early being at uh, Oatwell. And again, it's overconfident, no, but I just feel that. Ascendancy with what we is, we've had a jolt system and it's looking for a reaction for all concerned. Uh, so we're all going for goals, we're all going for bouncy wins, which is again a positive. So nobody can say, Oh, you're thinking, no, and we've all said to keep it same side. So Daniel, Ryan, and Andy, appreciate you taking your time out. It's great to have you all on, great points covered by everybody. Um, and we'll have to do it again, try and when it fits in with everybody. So Thanks, gents, for joining me. Appreciate it. Uh, people that's watching, have you all say in comments below, would you make any changes? Uh, and if so, the reasons why. It's all it's easy to say, yeah, I'll make this change and that change. But like Daniel said, the only change you possibly met or what is for Norwood for, you know, for suspension reasons. But give some valid reasons. Uh, would you make any changes? Score predictions. It's going to be an interesting one. And let's keep the uh, start winning again. And take this NC and see if we can go and beat him for end of the season. That would be a, a nice shot uh, boost yeah, to uh, get in playoffs. We, we are score predictions. If if we lose now, we are going to, and a Morecambe fan <laughs> finds this, we are going to get absolutely ridiculed on Twitter. And Facebook. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll find it somewhere. Don't worry about that. Yeah, I'll edit it. Yeah. See, I told you, we didn't know what we're on about. We would, we'd all be not wappy juices like we've been out for That's what my excuse will be. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thanks, boys, for joining. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. One thing left to say, you Reds.